Hello, hello, hello. This is attorney Mike Gravelin coming to you from Chicago as usual. And this morning I had a bunch of people send this to me. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Judge Middleton is back and and his call is is it, it is it's a Zen like experience. <laughs> it's it's too good. Uh, I'm, I'm all suited up here. I actually I actually invited uh, Yesenia on to to tell this story, but but she's uh, she's a chicken. I'm gonna call out my assistant right here on YouTube. <laughs> she needs hours of lead time. She's got to yeah, you know, she's got to put it together. That that's that's how you send your rolls. But anyway, I, I uh, the reason I'm suited up is I thought I I had a petition to approve a minor settlement this morning, but I don't. <laughs> and I thought, well, I put this tie on. I'm not wasting it. This this is what we're doing. Let's get it started. <clears throat> Let's start with you, Mr. Nelson. It is 8.15. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Your Honor. There are two files here, file 221599OM. Okay, so we start early. He doesn't even have the public defender in yet, but he's got he's got the usual like uh, frequent flyer. So he's like, ah, let's go ahead. Charges disorderly person in violation of the White Pigeon Village Ordinance, allegedly having occurred on August 15th. There's another one, file 221608, which edges another disorderly person which allegedly occurred on August 12th. <laughs> Both of these are charged in violation of White Pigeon Village Ordinance, which is a misdemeanor, punishable by up to 90 days in jail and a fine of up to $500. Um, Mr. Nelson, I'm well aware of your ongoing dispute <laughs> with the White Pigeon Village Police Department. I, I, I never find out what it is, but apparently Mr. Nelson just has it out with White Pigeon, and you'll see it. He's he's really likable, at least in terms of his court demeanor. He, he's very charming, but uh, he he cannot, whatever. He's button heads with White Pigeon somehow. Oh, <laughs> we never find out why. My assumption is here you wish to plead not guilty to both of these. You already know you're running, yes, sir. All right, I'm going to... I'll take the usual not guilty plea, Judge. Point an attorney for you. We've got a trial coming up on one of those earlier cases next yes, month. Oh, the 29th. Yep. Next month. I'm going to show a plea of not guilty. I plead not guilty. <laughs> I assume you would. <laughs> That's your absolute right. I remember... Point an attorney... Okay. Set an attorney pre-trial. They, they've just both done this so many times, everyone knows the drill. I hate to even say this word. October. Uh, <laughs> or October 7th. Okay. During COVID, um, we couldn't come in. So um, <clears throat> I was missing you in person. But I didn't know these police was going to have me coming to see you these many times. <laughs> <laughs> During COVID, I couldn't come in, so I miss seeing you in person. <laughs> oh, recurrent defendant. It's, it's too good. It, you know, it's so 3B. <laughs> well, I'll see you. I see the state is Sturgis. <laughs> you've got an attorney in another case, and uh, it may or may not be the same attorney in this case, but I'm going to give him. There's no plea offer, according to White Pigeon. Oh, of so course. Attorney. <laughs> so I show a not guilty plea on each case. I will appoint a lawyer for you. We'll set an attorney pretrial for Friday, the first Friday in October, which is the seventh. Well, can you um, um, excuse me, Anna? Go ahead. Well, we've got this other case. You're right, coming up later in uh, October. Or, excuse me, no, September 29th, I believe it is. Yes, it is 29. And that doesn't sound right. Yep, all my cases from White Pigeon. No, in I think it's September 28th. Oh, okay. I I believe. Th these guys are such regulars. I cut it out because it was early and there was a lot of stuff not really going on. But when they first come on, Keith looks over at Mark Ritchie and he's like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> 
<laughs> like it's a coffee club, you know? <laughs> Are the even days. Let me look. I believe it's a 28. Well, save me about three, four more attorneys because um, <laughs> by the time October comes. <laughs> yeah, those <laughs> cases are set for September 28th. Oh, okay, that's fine. All right, I'm assuming we're going to have a trial that day too. So, all yes, right, sir. I'll see you then, all right? Oh, oh, yes, indeed. Thank you. You're right. Oh, you'll see me a bunch of more times before this year up until I move, I guess. <laughs> all right, maybe that's what their goal is. I can't say. All right. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Get out of there. All right. Thank you. I'll see you. You too. All right. Thank you. All right. Mr. Stickley, the chief public defender is joining us. I did that one without Mr. Stickley because I knew Mr. Nelson would be pleading not guilty. We just get a lawyer to assist him. Yeah, you did. Uh, <laughs> the two of you that are left, Mr. Madden and Mr. Uh, Richie, uh, Mr. Uh, Nelson exercised his right to plead not guilty. That's certainly your right as well. Let's talk to Mark Ritchie next. Mr. Ritchie, you're kind of in the same boat. You've got multiple cases. File 22148. White, White Pigeon is some small town or village out in rural Michigan somewhere. One is... This is in here twice. Uh, assault and battery charge. You posted a bond of either you know, $300 on August 2nd. That's alleged to have occurred on July 1st, and that is a misdemeanor. It's punishable by up to 93 days in jail and a fine of up to $500. You also got a citation in White Pigeon on August 12th for driving without a valid license ever acquired. Uh, that's file 221598. Um, Mr. Keith Stickley, the esteemed chief public defender, has just joined us. Mr. Ritchie, um, there are two separate incidents. The assault and battery is alleged to have occurred on July 1st. The traffic case is not related. That's alleged to have occurred on August 12th. That case, the traffic case, no operator's license is a misdemeanor, punishable by up to 90 days in jail, and a fine of up to $500. Um, you can have several options. You could have a, you could plead guilty, and you can plead not guilty. If you plead not guilty, I may set the matter for a pretrial, or maybe the course of action would be to appoint an attorney to represent you. Um, Mr. Ritchie, let's first talk about the assault and battery case. Let me pull it up here. It's alleged that on or about July 1st, you assaulted Randy Terry in the village of White Pigeon. How do you plead to that charge? Mr. Ritchie, your mic's on mute. Could you unmute your microphone? I plead not guilty. All right. How about the traffic case? Do we should plead not guilty to that as well? Yeah, let's go not guilty with that too. Why not? All right. That's an ordinance case. I'm going to do the same thing I did with Mr. Nelson. I'm going to appoint an attorney and set an attorney pretrial for the morning of October 7th. That's the first Friday in October. I don't know yet what time it will be until I know which attorney is represented. <laughs> Mr. Ritchie, are you still at 113 Chicago Road? Yes. Apartment 5? Yep. All right. Well, stop driving to get things straightened out. I'm sorry. I apologize. All right. We'll sort this out. I'm going to get a lawyer to help you with this. Do you owe me any money? Maybe. <laughs> well, let's see. I like that. I, I don't know, but there's a strong possibility. 
I didn't show up here, but I thought maybe you had some old stuff. We can't just uh, get a fine going on and let, let this all fucking go away. Watch your mouth, sir. We're in Sorry. Court. I like your uh, hair. Oh, thanks. But anyway, you don't curse in court. Uh, My bad. No, I don't see you. Uh, nice recovery. It was transparent, but it worked through through Judge Middleton off, and he was he wasn't like really upset about it in the sense that he used he doesn't want him to do it because it's it doesn't fit within court decorum, obviously. But it wasn't even mean spirited. It was just like two guys talking, but just it's not appropriate for the setting. Yeah, you know, and the, and the judge gets all that. I don't know anything at this point? I don't know what the disposition is going to be, Mister Ritchie. I'm going to get a lawyer for you, and uh, we'll see. It could result in a fine. It could result in probation. It could result in jail. I don't know enough of the facts yet. They could reduce it to something like disturbing the peace. Um, well, I don't try to hurt. I don't try to hurt nobody, Your Honor. And uh, that was that uh, assault. That assault case was oh, yeah. wrong. Yeah, was don't say any more about it, Mark. But I'll get you a lawyer. <laughs> Keith is like, don't, 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 don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this this video is from this morning. Mr. Stickley, the public defender, he doesn't want you to say anything here on the record that could compromise your rights. So the best thing to do is just sort of keep quiet till you get a chance to talk to the lawyer. So I'll send you that information in the mail. I want you to call him, make an appointment to discuss it with him, and uh, I will see you in October. We had a lot of no-shows this morning, Keith. However, Mr. William Madden is here. Hi, this is Ali with the Sovereign Citizen Patrol, and thanks to all your generous support, I'm getting belly scratches. So please remember to hit like and subscribe so I get some more. Good morning, Mr. Madden. Good morning. This is an old case. This 2019 case, 19-98, William People versus William Charles Madden. Mr. Madden was charged in this case, alleging that on January 15th of 2000, no, Jan December 19th of 2018, he assaulted Mr. Kyle Ashbrook and damaged some eyeglasses, which were worth less than $200. So it charged with domestic violence and MDOP of personal property. He was originally arraigned on May 28th of 2021. So it took two years for him to get arrested. I don't know what happened. The warrant issued in 2019. He got arrested in May of 21, pled not guilty. We appointed attorney Jordan Yancey to represent him. He pled not guilty at his attorney pretrial. We set a last pretrial. And Jordan Yancey said, I never had any contact with him since July 2nd of 2021. He did not appear. I had tried to call him. He didn't answer. So I issued a bench warrant with a thousand dollar cash or surety bond in September of 2021. He got arrested here recently and posted a thousand dollar bond. So Mr. Madden, yes. you, don't give me your street address, but what town do you live in? Elkhart, Indiana. It's a uh, 21758 Christopher Drive, Elkhart 46516. All right, I didn't want to put that out on my feet, but all right. Um, how did you get arrested here earlier this month? I was, I've was i been in Elkhart County Jail for the past year, and once I got released there, I had a warrant from Cass Office, Michigan, and uh, I had to go take care of that, and then I had to bond out through you guys from Cass. What do you have pending? Okay, so he just did a year in jail, and then he had two holds at least. In Cass. A possession case and driving without a license. I'm also on probation in Elkhart right now. What are you on probation for? Criminal mischief. That covers a lot of ground. Criminal mischief with a deadly weapon. A level six oh. felony. <laughs> or no, sorry, I did... Yeah, that's what I'm on probation for. Sorry. 
the, the usual sign of a guy who just can't stay out of trouble. They can't keep they can't keep their probations and their holds and everything at the straight because they just have too many. I got a year of probation to do here, and I'm still going to court for cash. Well, we need court. to get this case back on track. I think last time I, I talked to a lawyer or somebody, they said maybe the charges would be dropped if I paid restitution or something since well, it was so old. That's a possibility, but uh, you've been AWOL for months. and um, yeah, I got arrested on August 13th of last year. All right, I'm going to set this for September 22nd. Okay. Our last pretrial. You're going to need to be here in person. Yeah. Aren't Jordan is set end? to be here on September 22nd at 2.30, so I'll set this for 2.45. Defendant directed to contact attorney. I'll send you that information. In the mail? Yes. Okay. All right, Mr. Madden, you logged in early, clearly. Uh, you got a lot on your plate, but this it may be one of the least of your problems. So let's get this resolved. I've got $1,000 worth of bond that I can apply to any fines and costs or restitution issues. We should be able to resolve this. So I'm going to send you the information. I want you to contact your attorney, Jordan Yancey. We'll have a pretrial here on September 22nd at 2.45. Ms. Yancey is set to be here that day, and that will work out well. Okay. That's September 22nd at 230 245. 245, okay. You're good to go. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Yes, sir. Good morning, Mr. Reed. Good morning, Judge. I don't think I... Okay, so here we have we have visitors in from California. You guys tell me in the chat. I, I, I like to think that they're law talk with Mike viewers, but I have no idea. I have no idea. However, the, we have people literally visiting to, just to watch the court proceedings which uh, most people would think is strange, but I, I don't because I get tons of DMs and comments to that effect. A lot of people would like to just go hang out in 3B for a morning. <laughs> I, it's true. I had any this morning, but I had a pre-trial. I didn't know and thought I better double check, make sure we logged in. Check with you. We have some random. visitors here. This is Mr. Timothy Reed. Hi, ladies. Hello. Not defendants? <laughs> they, Not they, yet. Not yet. There you go. Well, and these are office. the ladies that sent you the mug. Oh, thank you. It's in my office. <laughs> I've seen him. Uh, uh, Keith has his, too. I'll see TJ, and he's got his. I've got it in there. There's well, Keith you. right there. He's got his. Good morning. Thank you. Oh, that's cool. Someone must have made a 3B mug. That, that's fun. That's great. This is Mr. Stickley. So it, that was Cal greatly appreciated. California, there's no good way to get the center. Open. No, they're not. They're. Um, so they they wanted to meet you in person. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's why they drove flew from California not to meet me. <laughs> well, I've got I've got a mediation at nine, a divorce mediation at nine. All right. Well, uh, just a sec. I right. had one. Okay. Sturgis case. Zachary Hively, the paraphernalia charge. Today. Was, yes. And Gregory one? Johnson. Mr. Johnson is here. Is he a three hours case? Huh? It didn't make the. Uh, Fair to nail just be find some cost yeah, recommendations. Right. Yeah. That was Where's it. your mediation? Via Zoom for my office. Oh, so you're going to leave in a minute. All right. Yeah. So All right, it's, it's, a branch, it's a branch county case, so it's a – Joe Hass is mediating. That anyway, anyway, they came all this way, and they wanted to meet you. So, <laughs> glad that you, got so you guys are here from California for how long? Week. Oh, jeez. You're not coming to this place every day, are you? Oh, man. <laughs> uh there's, There's some other places in the county that may be better than here, but well, good. Where are you guys staying? They're staying at Doc Sauer's uh, cottage at Fisher Lake. Oh, man. Of, of course, that you know, you can tell by this little exchange that, that Judge Middleton spent some time talking with him. He knows where they're staying. He knows what their schedule is. It's really cute. Yeah, that's a rough lake. I hope they get some good eating at Yoder's down the street. They've oh, done yeah. that. They've been to Yoders. So they're on the whole St. Joe County tour. Well, there you go. Uh, go, to, hey, go to Colon, Colon Michigan, the magic capital of the world. There's a magic. They're going to go to Colon on, th on Thursday. They're going to stay in Colon. And if you go to Stickley Farms, I hear there's a sideshow. We're not open yet, but in September 10th, we will be. 
All right. <laughs> Mr. Johnson, good morning. We've got some, some banter here going on, but you've logged in. You're in the uh, Zoom room. Good morning to you, sir. Are you Gregory Dwayne Johnson? Yes, sir. Well, there you have it. Just a little morning quickie. We uh, a whole bunch of people sent that to me. Uh, first of all, the the frequent flyers were were too fun, and then and then we have we've got visitors from uh, California, and you know it, it was just fun to watch them chat with them a little bit in between uh, people that they were calling. So I I thought I could get that in, and like I said, I already had a tie on, so why not? All right. Thank you all for coming out. I will see you soon.